Hi, this is Nancy Wilson. Welcome to Wilson Counseling's Mental Health Minute. I get asked a lot about choosing a therapist. It's a really important decision and I think it's important for you to feel really comfortable with your therapists because that's gonna affect the outcomes that you get. That's gonna affect how uh, successful you sort of are in dealing with your issues. And I compare uh, choosing a therapist to dating. You know, you wanna find somebody that you feel comfortable around, that you can be open with and honest with who feels, you know, just comfortable to you. And that doesn't necessarily happen the first time you meet a therapist. It may take a couple of sessions before you get to know whether or not the therapist is gonna be a good fit for you. So I always recommend that you give it at least two to three sessions before you make a final decision. Uh, but even before you go in to the session, there's a lot you can do to figure out if the therapist is probably gonna be a good fit for you. I would recommend, first of all, that you get on their website, see if they've done any blogging. If so, read those blogs, watch the videos, read the content of their website. Do they seem like somebody who you would be comfortable with? Do their areas of specialization fit with what you're going in for? They have expertise or specialized training in the area that you're going in for. A lot of that you can find out by going to their website. I would also recommend that you schedule a phone consultation. Most therapists will um, speak to you for free, uh, you know, for five to 20 minutes to give you some time to just kind of see when you talk to them on the phone, does it feel like a good fit for you? And that'll also give you an opportunity to ask some additional questions. Some of the things I would ask about um, is how long they've been practicing. You want to know what their areas of training and specialization are. I would also ask, you know, what's a typical session like? How do you develop goals? Um, you want to know about administrative things too, things like what are the charges? How long are the sessions? I'd also ask about like what are their strengths as a counselor? And if you if if they have treated other people um, that deal with your issues. So for example, if you are really anxious, have they treated other anxious clients? What kind of work have they done with those clients? And how successful have those sessions been with the clients? You may wanna ask about what's called the, their theoretical orientation, which is the style of counseling that they do. Um, for example, if you, again, are dealing with anxiety, um, and you don't want to necessarily want to go deep into your past, you may want a therapist who does cognitive behavioral therapy, which is just going to deal with the thoughts in your mind that are creating all of these anxious feelings for you. So cognitive behavioral therapy would be an example of the um, therapist's theoretical orientation. And maybe take some notes when you're talking to them. So if they say things like cognitive behavioral therapy, jot that down, and then you can go look it up and see if you think that kind of therapy would work well for you. I would also ask them um, if they give homework, what you would need to do to be prepared for sessions, um, how long they typically work with clients. A lot of people feel anxious thinking about going into therapy indefinitely, but often therapy can be a time limited thing if you're just dealing with certain issues. So asking all of these questions will help put you at ease and help you know what to expect when you're going into therapy. And if you feel like uh, really comfortable with a therapist once you've checked out their, their website, you've checked out their social media, you've spoken to them on the phone and done a little bit of research, then it's probably time to go ahead and schedule that session. It can be really tough to go in the first time. I know there's a lot of nerves and anxiety talking to somebody who seems like a stranger but it can make a huge difference and you know and helping you reach your goals helping you feel better helping you deal with relationship problems is just going to relieve a lot of the stress and pain that you're experiencing so go ahead and schedule that appointment and hopefully it'll be a great fit but if it isn't after two or three sessions it's okay to call it and just like dating sometimes it's not the right person for you don't give up on therapy. There's still somebody else out there who has exactly the right skills and experience and 
um, you know, personality that's gonna be a good fit for you and find another therapist. You can oft often ask around to ask friends, ask, you know, family members, ask other people you know. Um, they may have good recommendations. And you can also find therapists in your area by going on something like Psychology Today. They have a therapist finder and you can search by zip code and area of specialization. So those are gonna be good ways to find therapists. I'll put uh, a link in the notes below that um, for a typical questions that you could ask a therapist. Well, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.